Well, I read the script, and it's an action script. They're sometimes hard to to get through because there's so much action. But I found this script a real page turner. I thought it was a fantastic story. Um, the action was very well described, and we're now beginning to see it being filmed. Uh, but I wanted to know what was going to happen. It really pushed me on. And I thought, well, if it's that good a read, um, it's probably going to be that good a film. So I was interested to take part, particularly since the character that I was asked to play is fairly enigmatic, difficult to know where he stands, and we've refined this, I think, even more during the shooting. So I thought it, it'll be an interesting, uh, an interesting journey, and I was an admirer of David Ayres. So. Derek Danforth is my employer, a um, young man, uh, sort of black sheep of the family, uh, with the craziness, and my job is to try to protect his family's company from his actions as much as I can. And he, the first time we meet, he comes to me, he has a big problem, a problem which at that moment, I don't appreciate quite as deeply as I will come to do. And I tell him to sort it out himself. And then very soon after that, I realize that I'm going to have to step in and call in favors from people I know through my life and my past life um, to try to sort the problem out. But he's a... Uh, He's a wild card and very difficult when he's a, your employer, which strictly he is, to deal with. The president is someone that I've known romantically before she became president. And uh, we have that relationship in the past. And I think it has something to do with why she asked me to look after her, her son. She knows I'm a, a, a trusted friend. Um, nevertheless, from where she stands, I'm not doing my job too well. So there is a friction there. But it's, a, it's an interesting little bit of color into the story. It's great working with Jason. I mean, he is uh, a master of what he does. Uh, very nice man, uh, quiet, uh, gentle, immensely professional, very fit. Um, of course, an Englishman who I, I've watched since he first appeared. Like any talented person, he's very easy to work with. He, uh, he's welcoming, he listens, he has a good mind, he's very good at what he has to do. And it made it a great pleasure to work with him. Well, Josh is... Uh, uh, Delightful young man, he's fantastic in the role, uh, easy to play with, comes at you with, uh, uh, with unexpected moments. Um, I think he'll be, uh, I think he's wonderfully cut out for this character, he's found a great way to play it. And our scenes were, were a lot of fun, a lot of fun, even though my character and his character are very uh, ambivalent about each other. Well, he's very relaxed, very concentrated as a director. He, uh, of course, has written the script or 
done all the final adjustments on the script. So most of the clues of how to play the scene, how to play the character are there in the script. And with my experience, he largely leaves me alone, gives me a, an idea now and again. Um, he has a fantastic eye. He's a wonderful camera operator himself. And um, uh, he's made it very easy uh, to do my scenes. And I've watched him. I've been involved in, in action scenes. And you know, he surrounds himself with the best people, the best stunt guys. We have a fantastic cameraman, great crew. And so it's looking very good. And he, I think, just concentrates on making sure it's absolutely real and has all the qualities of the shots that he wants. So he's a, he's a quiet director on the set. You often have to hunt him down to find him. Um, but uh, he's the sort of director you trust. You know when he says he's got it, that he's got it. It's about corruption, the corruption of power, uh, how power corrupts, and um, the, to a certain extent, naivete of thinking that that can be dealt with easily. Uh, but it is endemic in our societies. And I think as we see it from a distance, hopefully, uh, a lot of us would like to be in Jason Statham's shoes. I think there'll be a lot of people out there who've been through this sort of scam uh, and who want retribution. And of course, in this internet Twitter world, it's very hard to get justice for some people whose uh, finances or whose security or whose reputation has been damaged by these uh, technological scams. Beekeepers are people who look after beehives, and beehives are very complicated systems, um, very finely tuned systems, and rather like society is. And so the beekeeper is somebody who uh, sets about protecting that hive, that system, uh, and so they they carry the same name as the man who looks after the beehive. Well, I, I think if they have as good a time as I, as I did when I read the script, you know, it'd be fine. Of course, what audiences want is to be excited, to be to, made to think, to be uh, amused, uh, to be uh, thrilled. And, I, and for it to be worth the money. And I think, um, I think with the beekeeper, they'll get all of that. I play a, a character who has spent his career in the diplomatic and then uh, in the CIA and then becoming the head of the CIA and then retiring and moving into, uh, so to speak, the corporate jungle. But uh, I'm asked by the uh, person who's running for president to look after, during her presidency, to look after her uh, large co company, multinational company,